Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna do a yarn haul because after my events yesterday, I went to Michael's and spent a bunch of money on yarn. Oh no, we gotta cry, baby. A few minutes later. So I needed some yarn, but I wanted to also get some yarn because the next event, which is, okay, I was gonna lie. The next event I'm doing is just like a random one-off one of like next weekend. But the next big event I'm gonna do is a strawberry festival. So I wanted to get stuff in like the pink and red range to be able to make some strawberry -y themed items. Even if I don't hit the actual like strawberry theme on all of them, I at least wanna have like a similar color palette for some of the new stuff I make. And I've already started working making a jumbo strawberry that's not yarn i got there though i already had that yarn but yeah janessa is going to be helping me i got two skeins of this tan pink color which i'm very confused by because i got tan pink over there that i ordered off of amazon and this is like bright pink are we gonna not we're gonna not fix that color well the lighting in here is washing this out but this is like a bubblegum pink color almost it's very bright compared to my other tan pink. So I don't really know what that is. Maybe they changed their color. I got two skeins of most of these because they were buy one, get one half off. So that just felt. What happened, sweetheart? A few minutes later. So I got two skeins of like every color because they were on sale. Uh, they color name their colors super dumb things sometimes though. Like this is loops and threads, color SD01, whatever that means. But I did get four of these because I thought this would be cute for like cows and turtles and things. I got two of this color, which is SD03. It's kind of like a peach pink color. I got one of this color, but that's because I got other Bernat blanket in like one color, you know, to like offset it. This is color purple plum. I did not realize, maybe that is a different color. I thought I had one similar to this, but I didn't think I had this one, but that looks kind of close, but it also looks a little different. So I don't know. I don't know. I got one skein of this. And again, that's because I got another thing to like offset it. This is the one that kind of looks like that bloom chic or whatever from Parfait Chunky. But this is color BL09. I wanted to get more color variations than this, but this is the only one they had in stock. So this is the only one I got. I got two of this Chenille Home Slim in color CHP09. But again, I thought this could be like a nice cow pattern. Kind of in like the color scheme of the strawberry cow. I'm probably going to add like a strawberry like applique or something to it to make it more strawberry -y. I didn't want to go to like too much red or too much just pink. You know, I wanted it to be like multi-use kind of hot. I'm trying out the fur basically, the faux fur for the first time. I know for sure I want to do a couple of scrunchies in this. This is the colorway four. <laughs> it's light pink. Okay. I don't know. Good luck shopping at Michael's because you'll have to look and hope for the best. But yeah, I do know I want to make at least some scrunchies with this but I might work it into some projects, but I also hear it's a nightmare to crochet with and I don't like hard things, so I might not, but for sure scrunchies and I can do that by feel pretty well, I think. So this is color SD05. It's another one. Oh, it's Sweet Snuggles, by the way, if I'm not saying. This one and the pink, like the hot pink and the light pink and the pink and the peach, they're all Sweet Snuggles. I don't know even what this like kind of colorway is. Like there's nothing on here. Oh, hey, that says a real color name. Has that been where it's been the whole time? Wow, I just figured out how to use yarn. Wow, okay. Well, let's take all these back. So I'm used to the color being, where is it? Like right here on labels. And I guess I've never looked at loops and threads labels, but I just seen there's like color names up there too. So this is pink multi. This is Daisy Blossom, fitting name. This fuzzy is pink, imagine that. Pink and white multi for this one that I said is very cow-like. Got two of those. This is coral pink. I called it peach, but I'm sorry, it's coral. Coral and pink. And then we've got mint multi for this one. So now we're all on the same page. Okay, keep it moving, baby. Okay, I've got this colorway of Granat. Look, right above the barcode or below the barcode. This is beach foam. And I like it because again, makes me think of cows or chickens or something. Vintage white burnout blanket. It's just like a really creamy kind of white color. I don't like getting off whites because then I never remember which white is like 
the white and which is like like what the name of the off-white is you know because there's like a vanilla that's kind of close to this there's apparently vintage white that's close and then you have like actual white and when you only have like one white in your stock it can be like hard to tell which one's left so I try not to mix it up, but I also thought this looked really nice with that other one that I just showed, the beach sand or beach foam or whatever it is. So I got it, but I I do save yarn labels, but I've realized I've gone back to my yarn labels a total of zero times to check if I'm ordering the right color. I'll just order everything and hope for the best. Like if there's two blues that I think is the blue I need, I'll just get both. I got more ivory tweed. Everybody loves chickens in this. I want to do a cow in this too, so here we are. This was also feeling very cow to me. This is salmon sand variegated. It's cute, right? We're getting to the end. We're getting to the end. I got two skeins of this because I am potentially using this on a custom order I've been talking with a customer about. And if not, I'm low on this color anyway. This is Sweet Snuggles Light in the color Baby Green. And then I've got this other Sweet Snuggles Light in the color Ice Green, which is kind of more of like a brighter teal color. And then I potentially have a an order for an elephant coming soon. So I've got like a light bluish gray, but I thought this kind of beigey gray, it's called Pale Gray, was really nice. It's looking very much like sand on film, but it's definitely like a light gray. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be it for yarn. Type in the comments now how much you think I spent. Again, let's remember that I uh, I had to buy one, get one 50% off sale going on that I took advantage of. Did you type it? Good? We're good? Okay. I actually spent $197.86 on all of my yarn. I wish they gave me like the real like stuff total that it would have been without the discounts, but you can see all of it. And I'm keeping this receipt like a responsible business owner. Probably going to staple it in my calendar, to be honest. Because this is my calendar. I mean, this is my calendar. This is my notes for my expenses. That's from January. I just did that video, which if it's up, I'll link it. If it's not up, I won't link it. Yeah, I'm going to like staple this in now that I'm thinking about it. But yeah, that's going to be all for this video. It's just a yarn haul video. Did I need it all? No. Do I need to get better about buying yarn? I don't need absolutely but you know here we are if you like more crochet content you can check out this video right here and i will see you guys in the next one bye